So what I have here today is a centrifugal clutch. Um, I didn't think I would make one of these, but yeah, I did. And it literally just took seconds to make because it didn't take that much time to design, um, which is surprising because this is like a very well designed clutch. Well, I wouldn't say well, because it's extremely simple, but um, it's very easy to make and it takes very minimal parts. And it is probably one of the most torquiest clutches out there um, because it does not slip and it can handle a lot of load. As long as your shoes don't uh, come apart, then this thing is not budging. I, like I, I am surprised how much this thing can handle. And you can even attach more shoes so you can have, um, so you can probably put more load on it and then have it handle even more torque. Um, so essentially how this works is there's a couple shoes in here that just wiggle around um, and they extend, they, they kind of flip out like when they start to spin um, even in both directions um, so anything they can grip onto they'll like such as this wheel piece they'll grab onto that and then they'll start spinning it um, so in this case I'm using this wheel um, you may not have one of these because I think it only comes in a couple sets. I got this in a Batman and Joker set or something. I don't quite remember. I got it a long time ago. But this wheel will have these teeth inside, um, which is specifically why I'm using it. Um, it has these teeth inside so that these arms or shoes can grab onto and then start spinning this wheel. Um, so you can see I'm just using these pieces and I have this pin which has this axle, there's one stud axle on one side and then two studs pin. Um, so it's pretty useful so you can put the pin into a, an axle hole and then still have pins um, coming out. So that's for the shoes. You can put as many of these on this uh, wheel as you want so it can probably work better and probably grab onto this wheel better. Um, but so far it's been working great for me. I haven't had any problems with it yet for the two minutes that I've had it together. Um, so just reassemble it there. Push that through. And you have yourself a centrifugal clutch or sprat clutch. I don't know what, quite what to call this. So this is all Lego. There's no modifications. This is a great alternative if you don't have the rubber damper pieces or any uh, rubber coating to spray onto like a crank, pe a crank piece uh, that are used in vacuum engines. Um, so if you don't have those, then you should use this but you may not have this wheel piece because again it only, probably only comes in a couple sets um, I don't know I don't, I don't know what these are called but yeah and then as for output you can just put any pins on any of these uh, pinholes so you can pretty much connect this thing to any um, output shaft or any wheel of your choice um, so you can just use like a flywheel or you can use a paddle um, whatever you can connect to the end of this um, you can pretty much connect anything you want so yeah I, re I recommend building this if you have this wheel piece um, 
so yeah so please consider building this this is really really uh, simple and easy to make and very very uh, reliable it is extremely reliable it is un very unlikely to break um, so tell me what you guys think of this can you make it do you want to make it um, and yeah. yeah see you guys in the next video